I had been asked to, to talk about uh, arm bars. Apparently some, somebody says I do it right, but <laughs> I don't know, we'll find out. Mm -hmm. So if you've got the guy, say, in this position, a lot of times when I see people doing arm bars, they'll just end it right here. And they'll say, oh, I'll smash his, his elbow. Or if, they're, if they, they're thinking about it, they'll remember the hand up, smash the elbow. But what I like to do, so I like to think about where are all the joints. So if I can get a hold of this here, I use this as a handle, and I turn and I turn, and I make sure that this gets stuck into the joint. So he's got a nice straight arm that's all coiled up and spring-loaded. If I let go, he'll, he'll, spring, he'll spring out. And he's into the socket. And then I want to help him along a little. And then if I bring it up a bit, now it's see, got even more tension. And I never really actually usually get to finish these. And no, I don't recommend standing in this position, but I'm trying to, to show you all. So his elbow is here, and it doesn't take but a, a bit to put a lot of tension on that because it's already spring-loaded. And if you do it that way, you want to make sure that you release it slowly so that he doesn't get hurt. Another thing to do is make sure that you point his shoulder directly into the mat. So you've got a two by four that you're driving into the mat. So you're thinking about this joint and this joint and this joint and you just let it go. So that's, that's one version of an arm bar. If everybody wants to give that a, a try for a second.